right, it's time for a different look at the year 2014. It could be called the year of cute cat videos and ice bucket challenges. I'm joined by one man who has his finger on the pulse of social media and sharing. He's Bud Fee, BuzzFeed Vice President for Europe, Will Hayward. Hi, Will. Thanks for hey. joining us today. We're going to watch a few videos. We're going to chat about them, and then we'll, we'll, we'll expand the conversation. Uh, th th there's a real love on the Internet for, for, for cute kittens. Yes. And the first video is called Dear Kitten. Let's just watch a little bit and then sure. we'll have a chat. Dear Kitten, I remember when I could fit in a shoe. There's nothing like it. Being engulfed in 360 degrees of foot smell. Enjoy it while you can. Dear Kitten, because you are so small, you cannot jump, which is sad. Sad for you. But eventually you will, and you will there find the places that I refer to as vacuum. Yes. The vacuum. This will come yes. handy. Which did make I mean, I'm not the world. biggest cat fan. We, okay. had, we had kittens and cats when I was young. But what, what, is, what is it about cats that have taken over the web? Yeah, so uh, uh, far smarter people than myself have tried to answer this question. <laughs> and I don't really know if there is sort of a, a silver bullet response mm. other than... Um, Cats are, are curious and they're slightly suspicious and they allow human beings to kind of superimpose what we think they might be thinking about on top of them. Mm. Um, so, I mean, combined with the sort of cuteness and, and all that stuff, uh, people just enjoy them. And, uh, and, and it's worth remembering, that's actually an ad, isn't it? Uh, yes, absolutely. And, and it leads to the question, you know, how brands are benefiting from creating this viral content uh, that users yeah. can distribute via sharing. Absolutely. Yeah, so we're seeing a real evolution on that front. So web video started as a kind of quite a small thing mm. with one over a billion users of YouTube now and 1.3 billion people on Facebook um, marketers are starting to realize they need to start connecting with consumers mm. where they are and where they are is on their mobile they're waking up each day and they're picking up their mobile and they're looking at Facebook and they're looking at YouTube and they need to not just think about TV but also think about how they can connect with um, those end consumers on these platforms too is there a line between me uploading a cute video of my cat and yes. uh, a, a company coming up with a clever ad like that D does the does the viewer does the subscriber think hey i'm being sold to by a, a company i'd rather look at mark's cute advert yes. because he's not trying to sell me anything sure. D -d does that make it a, a D -d does that make it more interesting as a as a medium yeah absolutely i mean i think one of the first rules with with social advertising which mm. is what buzzfeed really specializes in is that um you need to focus on the consumer and focus on what they will enjoy and if you can create something really meaningful for them and something that is also relevant to you as a brand then you'll see huge sharing and sharing is really is the secret to the web that's what you want to get you want to get consumers passing your branded content onto each other via facebook twitter or email another one this is photoshopping real women into cover models I feel like I have some wrinkles around my eyes I'm never gonna be skinny I'm not a skinny girl it can be hard when you see models and celebrities and like you just don't look the same It's so clever, isn't it? The music starts off quite sad and then it, it's more uplifting that at the end it's sort of almost revelatory as yep. the women who have been photoshopped realise that actually yep. be comfortable with what you are. It's, yeah. it's a little journey, isn't it? Absolutely. So when the web first started, people shared humour and nostalgia and things like that. But a, a wonderful thing that we've seen, particularly in 2014, is the rise of really cause-based messaging. So this video isn't funny. It's not going to make people laugh. It hasn't got any cats in it. Maybe we could improve it next time with some cats. <laughs> um, but uh, it, it's got something that people really care about, and that drives all the sharing behind it. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's have a look at another one. This is what I learned from today. Will fruit... You were eating wrong, and I hope we show the strawberry one, because this is the one I've been doing wrong for many years. I've never eaten an apple from the bottom of you. I have. Really? Yes. After yeah. this or before this? After this. Really? It's, yeah. What's I mean, it like? Well, I did try and do this egg one too, yeah. actually, just yesterday. Uh, and it's, um, 
I don't know, I'm unconvinced. I still think doing it the traditional way is easier. There's a, the, the, the one which is a slightly separate video to this is the strawberry one. Sure. And I, when I sure. cut strawberries, I just cut it off at the top. And yep. of course, you lose a yep. big whack of the strawberry. You push a straw yes. through the bottom. Yeah, yeah. I never knew that. No one I taught know. me that. So, um... So Shima shares well, yeah. uh, cause-based stuff shares well, yeah. information shares really well as well, especially if it's quirky or a little bit different. Um, so, uh, so yeah, I mean, there's three great examples of the kinds of different content that, uh, that share really well today. And the ads are, I mean, the, the stats are amazing, aren't they? I mean, you, you say that sponsored content on BuzzFeed report, uh, performs 10 or 20 times better than the traditional banner ad. Yeah, absolutely. So a, a big thing that we've seen, um, especially in 2014, mm. is the realization that, that the banner ad market is kind of broken. So uh, no one um, has ever gone to work and said, "Do you? I saw this great banner ad yeah, yesterday. It was absolutely true. amazing. And as you move into the age of mobile, it actually gets worse. No one has ever clicks on a mobile ad and not been immediately frustrated and searched out the sort of little black tick, the little black cross, should I say. Um, so at BuzzFeed and at companies like BuzzFeed, uh, we're trying to build content for advertisers. We're trying to create meaningful stuff that consumers know is an ad, but it's still good enough that they're happy to share with their friends. What's the big trend going to be in 2015, do you sure. think? Let's make some predictions for next year. Sure. So I think in 2015, um, uh, clearly mobile's going to be the the biggest thing. I mean, yeah. mobile companies that say they're mobile first, uh, it's kind of like a dad trying to dance at a party. They're, they're, they're saying it because they're not really cool and they're not really mobile first. That's just like me. Yeah, well, I don't know about that. <laughs> um, but, uh, but mobile really will be the, the biggest thing. Um, uh, video built specifically for the social feed. Um, so at the moment, most brands are just taking their TVC, taking their TV advert, and they're putting it into Facebook and they're putting it into Twitter. We'll see more and more brands creating um, social ads built specifically for Facebook. Uh, so there's two big things. And if I was to create an ad, yes. Will, that I wanted to go viral, I know this yeah. is a question you're probably asked. Yes. Well, what's the recipe? What, it should obviously have cats in it. Absolutely. What, what else? Must have what, what, what's the recipe? What's the yeah. easy way to viral success? So the wonderful thing about this is that there are no rules. Yeah. And there are no guarantees. Um, uh, there are more people trying to create really viral cat content than anything else out there. So what you need to do is focus on the consumer. You need to think about what they would find meaningful, what they would enjoy. Um, and then give them a reason to share something. Uh, and then once you've done all that, you can maybe think about how a brand can be part of that conversation too. Well, good to speak to you. Thank you. Good. Thanks for having me. There's the ice bucket challenge. Oh, one of the big viral trends of the year. Will Haywood there, Vice President for Europe.